Today, today we're doing a service and hopefully repair on uh, VA, VE Commodore uh, 2013 model and it's got the V6 motor in it with the 6L50 transmission, the 6 speed in it. There's a bit of slipping there so we're just going to quickly put the scanner on it and just see if we can get any codes out of it and then we'll follow up uh, just checking the oil level. Now what it's actually doing is um, when you floor it um, there's no power so I'd be assuming it's an engine problem um, if you select manual first and take off or reverse um, it should take off fairly hard um, what it's doing it's it's sort of um, it's like there's not enough uh, fuel or uh, the exhaust's blocked on it so it looks like um, it's probably got other problems not the transmission okay might have to put the hood down but we'll see if we can get the codes out of it got the ignition on it's found a code. No codes in that one. And it's not actually a transmission code, so we've got camera won't focus. We've got a P0174 or the system's too lean on bank two. So it's more engine related. Okay, we just did the vehicle specific code and there's no trouble codes. Okay, now to check the oil level, um, there's a little tube in here, um, probably about yay long, and that's what the oil level should be at. Um, and you have to check it at 30 to 50 degrees. If it goes over 50 degrees, you need to let it cool down. You check it with the motor running, and under that, the filler, there's a little plug here on the driver's side, or on the right hand side of the vehicle. Um, that's where you can fill the fluid through there until you get it there. If you don't want to do that, you don't have to fill it through there. You can actually overfill it through the tube and then just let it um, run out until it just starts trickling out. But usually easier to fill it through there if you've got the right hose that will bend around in there. Um, and there it is there, just where my finger is. You just pull that, pull that little clip up, um, and then you'd be able to pull the whole thing out. Um, while we've got it here, we're just going to have a check of everything, make sure there's no oil leaks anywhere, and it doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere. So um, the slipping could be an internal mechanical problem uh, or hydraulic problem. Um, no fault codes are stored, so hopefully someone just hasn't um, filled it properly and that'll fix the problem. Otherwise, um, there might be more major repairs needed. Okay, we've got it started. And if you have a look, we're on... Thirty-one, thirty-two degrees. I'm just going to take this plug out and just check the oil level. There we go. You can see we've got enough oil level, uh, oil in there. Now there's probably even a little bit too much oil there, but there's only probably 
half a litre too much, so not enough to make trouble. What can happen if the oil level's too high and it hits the spinning parts, it can aerate the oil. And you can get sh spongy shifts, because air, in a hydraulic system, air can be compressed, oil can't be. So that looks like it's at the right oil level now, or thereabouts. It's still trickling out quite quickly. Okay, we've got the pan off. And there's not really a lot you can see there, um, unless the filter's actually blocked. Um, the solenoid's located on the valve body there. So there's actually a, a mechatronic sleeve there as well. It, in, if you want to take the valve body off, you've got to pull that sleeve out to be able to get it out. So the filter's a push-in type, so you just basically just pull it down and out it comes. Okay, it looks pretty clean there. The, the magnet um, has not it's got a little bit of rubbish on it but not too much and it seems fairly clean. So we're just going to clean this and I'll put that magnet up on that ridge just so it can work on the bottom side of the magnet. And the little seal in here where the filter goes in it came out fairly tight, so we're, we're not going to replace that. Um, it is a little bit difficult to replace that. They've got like a, a metal metal clad seal on it. Um, if you are going to, if you do choose to replace it, just be careful you don't damage anything. Otherwise, you won't be able to seal it properly, and, and it will suck a little bit of air. All right, we've got the new filter there, and you can see. You've got to compare, uh, make sure it's the same. Make sure there's nothing left in the end of it there. Sometimes it has like little bits of plastic or packaging stuck in there. So just make sure nothing like that's left in there. And they just push up like that. Make sure everything's located okay. And that's basically the service. And we've straightened out the little dint there, and you can see I'm going to put the filter, uh, the magnet, on that little ridge like that, just so you can get the magnet working underneath as well as on top. And we're going to reuse the. In the end, we're going to reuse the pan um, seal. The rubber seems nice and pliable. Just save a bit more on the service costs. Okay, there's the little plug that you pull out when we're filling it. We'll just give that a bit of a clean as well before we push it in. But you can see you pull that little that bit out and that actually locks it in place. And we're just going to top it up with the Tritec synthetic or full synthetic LV, low viscosity. And that handles the Dextron 6 as well. So the 6L50s take that... Uh, fluid. You can find all that information on the Tritec site anyway, which one's applicable for your vehicle. So we're going to pump in about 6 litres and then we're going to start the motor and just retop um, however much we need in there. Um, important not to go over 50 degrees because the oil will expand, you'll get a false reading there. Like I said earlier, if it does um, warm up or go over 50 degrees, um, it's a good idea to let it cool down before you test the fluid level. There we go. Sometimes it may feel like it's a transmission problem, but it's actually a fuel problem, which was that uh, fault code. So what it's hap what's happening, it's just losing power under full throttle um, at a higher speed. So I think if she gets that fixed, um, it'll feel a lot, lot better for her. Anyway, thank you for watching.